so we got full stamina system now. Let's jump on the camera real fast. So camera, let's get our character. We're deleting this camera and this. Uh, Okay, we got nothing in even graph. That's interesting. Uh, let's add camera spring arm. Mm, let's make the spring arm length of zero. Let's make it attached to head. Um, let's make it use pound control rotation. And let's do some stuff. But we want to do stuff on begin play, but we can do it in animation master. Uh, we don't have to do it in here in this class. This class should implement only inputs of the class, not uh, gameplay mechanics. Gameplay mechanics should be implemented by abilities or components. If you would be using, like you will in Unreal Engine 5, uh, modular gameplay features, this is exactly what you want. <clears throat> okay, so let's open this up. <coughs> and by the way, let's do this. Mm. And let's do it like this. Begin play. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we're learning those uh, functions on self because we are a class of AGR Animation Master. So we want to say rotation method is um, is absolute rotation. Rotation speed is irrelevant in this case. Turn, uh, oh, you know what? We want to do desired at angle. And then this is okay. We want to say aim is look. In aim nearest is Mm, nearest, that's okay. It's not camera based and it is aiming from head and hand R, so this is correct. We want to have a custom function here as well. We want to say a custom event and we want to call it change. Uh, aim offset only. I want to say that this is running on server. I want to set aim offset type. And this can be executed only by the owner of it. And this will change just this one value because we don't want to set up aim offset all the time as no of those values will change. We want to have this event just in case. And do we have a special interface here? We don't have an interface, but yeah, that doesn't matter. We're not going to use that that much often. So we might add an interface later. I want to do uh, first person. I want to say yes. And once we get into first person, uh, no, 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 show inherited first person on first person event. Okay. So this runs when our event dispatcher is being dispatched. This is the same as doing a bind on begin play, uh, basically. Uh, but you have to run it like this. You have to drag it and say, or you can do create binding assign, which means that it will allow us to do this. But we can just run it like this. And if we are in first person true, we want to get owner, get owner movement component. We don't have get owner as character, I guess. Cast to character. 
we can cast to a C++ class, so it, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't like cost much performance to do this cast. And I want to say... Um, set rotation, and this should be... Um, use control rotation y'all, because this is the default value, yes. We want it to be true on our client, and we might change that later. So, uh, on first person. So, this, like this, is being called, this should be called only locally. Mm. So we want to get owner of this component, which is an actor. And we want to say local um, role switch. Oh, it's some bytes. Oh, no. Um, hmm. Oh, darn it. We need to cast the character again. Uh, I want to say if it is uh, or even more than that, get controller local player controlled. So if our controller is uh, can get controller, uh, no, okay, so we have to do it like this, and then we do that. And then we do this. Uh, uh, darn it. This one will be actually easier to do inside the character himself because of many reasons. Uh, because of very specific uh, tasks. Mm. Bind possess. Oh, we can't. We can't. Okay. So, first person is going to actually be moved from here. This is just going to be basic setup. And as far as I remember, if I go into class defaults, uh, so dangle ninety three. Uh, yeah, look, uh, nearest ninety. No, yeah, okay. It's it's same. I don't know if we yeah yeah we have to run those. <coughs> okay. Mm. Let's go to character. And we have to unfortunately do it like this, it will be easier. Add event on first person, right? And when we switch to first person, we want to set control rotation yo to true only locally because this will be called locally. And how do we know it will be called locally? Because we're doing on possess, uh, even possessed, and we got a controller. I want to say player control, local player controlled. So if we are local player controlled, we want to say uh, setup FPP, which is not replicated variable. I want to say yes. And then this will be called, and we'll set the variable for FPP to be true, and we're going to change our rotation method. So set up FPP rotation method only on local player. So AI will use different uh, method of rotation, so they won't be as responsive as players if we ever if we even do AI. So okay, we got this. 
Mm, and we also need the camera. Set the camera. Let's do like 77 perspective. Uh, we're not doing um, anything really fancy here. And we don't need uh, this camera to use pound control rotation because it's attached to spring arm and it is already doing uh, our work for us. And we can also, if we want, to enable camera rotation lag or camera lag, but we don't want to. At least uh, I don't think so. We can compare it in a second. So let's, let's see it. Let me replace that now. I am in first person. Oh, but my rotation method didn't change properly. Uh, why didn't it? Oh, of course it didn't. Let's go back here and say on possess, which is um, called only on the server, obviously. Custom event uh, possessed by player. Mm. Get controller. It's local player controlled branch. True. And this event is replicated, but it's replicated on owning client reliably only. And we're calling um, possessed by player. Uh, let's rename that. Uh, possessed on owner only. This should, okay, it, it worked. Okay. I can format this graph entirely and it looks a lot better immediately. <coughs> Game logic. Let's call it like that and let's move it there. Confirm and it will break this one. We have to redo it. Because for him this is a new function when we paste it. Okay, now it should work. Oh, it doesn't. That's very interesting. Let's uh, let's make some. Uh, let's do a breakpoint uh, here and here. Okay. It is true, so it will go here. Okay. This control rotation yo is true now. Oh, uh, it's in the second window. Oh, maybe it's because I'm the server at the same time. Uh, let's let's see. Uh, I just just, just resume. No? I think I'm overthinking something. I just forgot to do something. Uh, 
okay, show. Remove the breakpoints. Uh, access not trying to read property. Get local player subsystem. Oh. Cosmetic is only for cosmetic. Uh, yeah, probably we don't need to uh, use the enhanced input local player subsystem on <laughs> uh, on AI. Okay. I would say that probably uh, probably this is breaking some stuff. Let's see. No. Oh. If we run like this and say absolute rotation. Okay, now we have the proper rotation. Well, this is the experience you want from the player. And let's do it like this. Let's let's just simplify things. Why why bother with this? This 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 yes. This nothing. Never mind. And this just stays here. Mm. Uh, okay, this is the possessed, and we don't need to run any custom code there. And this runs, this is a, a update only game of set type. Uh, and this is in play. Setup defaults. Why we are running through this setup instead of just setting up variables is because those events they do more than just change variables. They do, they just do more. Just, just trust me. <clears throat> so this is how you want to run it. That they change some uh, mm, character movement component variables on both the server and the client. Okay, we want to get rid of this terrible uh, clipping, for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and we got a working camera. Like th this is the important part. We want a uh, we want a first person uh, camera. We can polish it later. Uh, add proper camera, uh, aim offset, and rotation. Yeah, we're done that. 